Okay, guys, we're going to do a little practice on volume of rectangular prisms. So remember, volume is what we use to fill up the three-dimensional shape. And our formula for volume is the area of the base times the height. Or the area of the base, remember, is the length times the width times the height. Okay, so I'm going to do a couple of these with you, and I want you to practice and do some tonight. You can either scan the paper or do it on loose leaf paper. Okay, so looking at my rectangular prism, I have a height, I have a length, and I have a width. So remember, this width is the same as this. So this would be three feet. So to find the volume, we take the length times the width times the height. Length times width times height. Six times three is eighteen. Eighteen times eight. The volume is 144 feet cubed. Okay, you're going to try number two on your own. We'll check it tomorrow. Let's look at number three. We have another rectangular prism. Both of our bases are rectangles, and so are all the faces. So we have a height of four, a length of 15, and a width of seven. And remember, depending on how this is laid out, it really doesn't matter as long as you have one of each. So length times width times height. So the volume is the length times the width times the height. Fifteen times seven is a hundred and five times the four the volume is 420, and we have inches cubed. Okay, let's try number five. We have a height of four, a length of 12, and a width of eight. So again, volume is the length, we said was 12, times the width, times the height. So 12 times 8 is 96 times 4 is 384 and we're doing millimeters cubed. Oops, sorry, you couldn't see that. There you go. Okay, number 7. Another rectangular prism because our bases are rectangles. We have a height we have a length, and we have a width. So length, remember, length times width times height. So 11 times 4 is 44, times 14, we get 616 inches cubed. Okay, we'll do one more together and then you're going to do the even ones on your own and we're going to check them tomorrow. So here is my length, my height, and my width. So volume is length times width times height, because remember length times width is really the area of the base. So 17 times 4 times 11. 17 times 4 is 68. 68 times 11 is 748. And we have millimeters cubed. Okay, so again, please try the even ones on scrap paper. Scan this one however you wish to do it. Um, and we will check on those on Thursday to check our work.